Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Zupla Creations, and if you're new, a big welcome. Today we'll be making this really jiggly slime, let me just open the container. It's really jiggly, I'm going to show you how jiggly it is. And then we'll see the end result. <gasps> see that? And the thing I really love about that slime is that it's just like so jiggly, and I just love it. It can I hope it meaning, um... Some glue. I have three kinds because I don't have a lot in each bottle. Some yeah. cornstarch. You don't have to do that. And especially some water. Oh, and you also be needing your activator, which I'm using contact solution and baking soda. So let's get started. Okay, so I have all the glue in my bowl. I'm just gonna probably I'm gonna add black glue first. You'll also be needing a Ziploc bag here or an airtight container. So I'm just going to take my clear. You'll also be needing a mixing tool, of course. Just going to mix the clear glue into the black glue. And if you don't have black glue, you can use food dye. I have one and a half tablespoons. This is what it looks like. And I'm just, for now, I'm going to take one. One second. And just put it in there. And stir it in. So, after the cornstarch, you probably want to add the food dye. Don't add it before after the, before the cornstarch corn because then it will make your color lighter unless you want your color to be lighter. So as you can see, mine got thicker. I'm just gonna add one more tablespoon or half a tablespoon. I mean, this tablespoon is way bigger. This is a nice color, I like it. And if also, if you want to, you can add some shaving foam. So, because that's what I did in other recipes. So you also be needing a tiny bit of shaving foam, but you don't have to add that. It's turning into this like light gray color. Just gonna mix everything in thoroughly. Um, so I'm just gonna get some food dye. But I just I guess I want it to be more black. Right here. And I have a big box. So I have to find it before I so yeah. Just gonna take one drop for now. Because one drop might be enough, because it's not that much of a gray color yet. But I still want it to be a tad more blue or black. I'm going to add a few more drops because it didn't really show. Hopefully that shows. Oh yeah, it's showing. Not as well, but I guess it kind of did. I like this color. I'm not changing it. So here's my color. <laughs> Okay. 
So there you go. And then you see it's like starts pumping, but it's not done yet. The water is gonna come in here and give this a good shake. I'm, really I'm kind of scared to see what happens. So I'm just gonna take an extra bowl just in case it explodes. Oh, what? Yay. <laughs> At least it's not soda. That would be bad. Yeah. It will, uh, you gotta mix it very thoroughly or it won't start clumping together. And don't add a lot of baking. If you're like using um, content solution and baking soda, don't use as much content solution than baking soda. Otherwise it won't, It. I don't think it will form. Just gonna add a tip more. If you're, my age is eight, and if you're like maybe six or above, this would be a nice um, DIY, do-it-yourself project. But if you're below, you should probably get someone's help. Since I added the cornstarch, it does get a little bit more you do need a little more than you should, than you usually do in other slimes because the cornstarch just makes it more thicker, so it just needs more activating. Okay. It's starting to pull from the side a teensy weensy bit. Just gonna add my last, maybe maybe last squirt. So I'm just gonna put the cap there. <laughs> Let's hope the slime isn't strong enough to break the mixing tool. Yeah. Now when it starts pulling on the sides, it gets kind of hard to mix. And if you've made slime before, I think you know what I mean. Now I'm gonna show you the whole process for how it looks like, cause then you might get confused on what it's supposed to look like and what it's not supposed to look like. So if it's too watery, add more activator. activator. And if it's coming together perfectly, then don't add anything. Just keep mixing, be slime maker. So now I'm gonna go in with my hand. Okay, I'll just leave that. So I'm gonna do it bit by bit, just like that. Okay. Oh, it's getting kind of stringy. Not that stringy. Now, when we get to the water part, it can be sink water, and it just keep it room temperature. And yeah, the water part is really important for you guys to pay attention because it needs to suck up a lot of water. So I'll do that one very nicely because that part. I'm just going to mix it like this. Try stretching it around with your hands. Hands. And this is how it will turn out at the end. Okay, put it right there. Eek. And now I'm going to do the next part. Now I don't want to waste any because glue can be expensive. I barely really ever get glue, so that's why I always use it carefully. And you'll also be needing your activator again, so I'm going to use this Elmer's Magical Liquid because it kind of helps with the Elmer's glue. And it will just help it for the... 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing something. Do you guys hear that? That is so nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it and just mix it around. And here comes the important part. Okay, there. So you grab your water, it doesn't have to be bottled. I just so first, you want to start by pouring a tiny bit of water. So I just went did that, and so I'm going to wait for you. Okay, so just go ahead and mix that. This is so fun to play with. Okay, now it's a little less sticky. So I'm just going to put those to the side. Two. Yeah, two. But you will be needing some more water later on. And you only want a tiny bit, a teensy weensy bit. So first you want to start out by taking it and mixing it. And just mix it in between. And if it starts getting stringy, that's a good sign. And when it's ready, I'll be able to stick my hand with it in it without it sticking. I'll scooch that in there and I'll get my slimes out. This one's a little smaller. This one's probably my bigger one. I'm just going to stick to the bowl. But so well. And so we're going to kind of wrap it up now. And do a slime smoothie. No. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, Not this guy. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix them up. I don't know what's really gonna happen. Is light, is the color gonna get lighter? Or something? Um, I don't know. Maybe because I waited a few seconds. Okay. So now we're going to see the slime bubble test. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, that kind of worked. I mean, is it jiggly still? Oh my gosh, look at how jiggly that is, guys. Do you guys hear those pokes? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! It is like so jiggly. It's kind of ripping, but let me make a bubble. So, So, yeah. I'm just gonna let it fall. I'm not thinking that would happen. But I wanna do it one more time because this world is fun. I don't know why. Wink. I'm gonna check if this is bouncy. That is something I need to do. Oh, I probably should put this in the container so it doesn't stick to up. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll stick to the computer. So now it's poke test. I'm gonna do it in the spool. Wait, I wanna do something. Now I'm just gonna let it rest. I 
guys see that? So for me, what I saw was like a sort of, like, it was like falling, that's why I did it. So now I'm going to put it in the container and say my goodbyes. Bye guys, I hope you like my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button. Bye!